Shall we try this again? Oh, this might be an internet issue. It might be an internet issue. Let's refresh. Maybe. Maybe. Um, okay, we're sitting about a six, seven second delay, which is not horrible. Okay. Bitrate's okay. I think we're good. Are we good? Are we, are we alright? I think we're okay. Test one, two, three. Anything but that. Yeah, I, I think we're back. I think we're good. Are we good? Maybe. I have no idea. Um, audio's good? Okay. Um, yeah, that was not fun. I don't know what happened. Literally, it just, like, froze. And normally, when the game crashes, it's, like, an immediate crash. It literally just sat there on a black screen for me. And then, like, finally faded into, the game has encountered a problem. Well, no kidding. So that was fun. Not. It's a vampire butterfly, as I told you. I know, I'm hoping that auto saved because I don't want to have to do that, all, all that again. The game's usually pretty good about auto-saving after you've completed something. So we'll find out where auto save because I have no idea. But yeah. Oh, I have to refine the butterflies. All right, we have to refine the butterflies. Huh? There they are. All right. Well, she let's. She wasn't making it up. No, she wasn't making it up at all. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willetsy might get an answer about these butterflies. And now we just wait on the butterflies. Because I know where they'll end up. I just need them to hurry up with that. I just, I don't know what happened. That was really, really weird. Come on, butterflies. Uh, I can hear for the, Yeah, I don't know what happened. The game just went freeze and then crash. And that was really weird. Uh, I'll play the squish. Lovely seeing you. I'll be back if you're streaming at next nap session. Oh, wow. Um, we'll we'll be going for about another two hours. As long as we don't run into any other internet connection weird issues like that. So, again, yeah, that was really, really weird. I don't understand what happened. So, there you go. Um, hi, bye. Okay. Um, then I need... There we go. I never knew that was there. Okay. Alright, we want Lumos. I think I need the time of day to be dark. Oops, there we go. Yes. So it's just getting to be morning. I want night. I love that I just slept in the middle of the ground. There they are. Hi. Wonder where they're heading. Into the Forbidden Forest, because where else would they go? 
So this will take care of a few the little thingies. Leading into the forbidden forest. No kidding. It's forbidden for a reason, exactly. Where are we going? Treasure must be nearby. I suppose if you make a bit <laughs> treasure hunting suits me. Please auto complete or auto save for a minute, please. Or not. I'm gonna save that because I'm not stupid. Uh, na -na 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 -na. Save. There we go. This is why I'm really glad this game has auto save in it. Otherwise, I would be really mad. I would. I would. I would. All right. Oh, sorry, chicken. I didn't see you there. Save. <laughs> when did that become a tag? And who do I need to talk to? Dark or Belint? I would assume probably Dark. I think Belint has been playing. Oh, no. It's, it, it's one of the two because they're the only two who have swords in this channel. So... Yeah. Invisible Spectre. I reckon poof. Well, Invisible Spectre, hi. I don't see you anymore, but you were here a second ago, so hi. I, I hope your day was good. Going good. Is good. All of the above uh, 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 tenses of time. I really want my broomstick. But yes, I, I do apologize for game crashing everybody. I was not expecting game to crash after we went for six hours yesterday with no issue. Uh, definitely a thing. So. No, 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 no. Okay, so this should take care of the majority of our little side quests. We still have the daily and keys to find. That's nothing crazy. Oh, more toastals. Thank you. Because it never hurts to have them. I hear what sounds like a school bus. Oh. More moonstone. All the moonstone. For me. Here's a great part. I get all these moonstones, and when I get around to the chance where I can actually use them, like, I never end up actually needing them. I can't use all of them, which is kind of funny. Alright, let's go talk to Miss Willardsy. Hi, Owl. Bye, Owl. do 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 Seriously, let me thank you. So just let me open the door. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. No, I, I don't. Actually, the butterflies killed me. Is what happened? They crashed my well, game, which sucks. Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Yeah, something like that. Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? I mean, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna roll because we're hungry. 
uh, smart not to chase vampire butterflies. I mean, yeah. All right, so now all we should have to do we need to go do Professor Sharp's thing and then go to flying class. I am okay with these things. Uh, we have another talent, like so we're gonna wait. I want our talents to, you know, have have a couple of them before we have to do anything else. Picked up some flowers. Got some bookcases, which are good. Anything else? No. Alrighty. And what do we have in here? Just that. Cool. Good to know. Alright, let's uh, go back to school. Hit, I have to run all the way back. I remember there being something about those potions there in front of the cauldron place. But I don't remember what it was. So I'll have to remember that because I, I think it's something for Ravenclaw with potions. I'm not sure. Is that or Hufflepuff? One or the other. Because I don't think it's for Slytherin. At least I'm not certain that it's for Slytherin. All right, time for a lovely nighttime stroll. Nothing doing. It's a little cloudy, some fog. Not really uh, seeing any stars or anything that would be uh, worth the while. <gasps> but we're going to pet the kitty. Yee, <laughs> kitty. I know, pretty kitty. I don't want to leave you either, but I gotta go back to school so I can learn more things and do stuffs. I wish you could feed the kitty. You, you, you can't feed those particular kitties, though. Unfortunately. You can pet them, but that is it. Which is sad. But wait till we start taking our, our care they better I mean I don't know if they would, but there are some other creatures in this game that might eat a vampire butterfly. Potentially eat a vampire butterfly. Of uh, that I am not sure. Cool, you auto saved for me. Thank you. I missed something, didn't I? I love it wants me to take like some weird road back. For for no apparent reason. Which is kind of great. Instead of taking me on the main road back up to the school. It has me take a back road. I mean, which is kind of cool. Um, well, that works. That, uh, that works a lot. And you can see everything set up for flying class out there. Oh my gosh. Me and my sneezes. I am so tired of it. 
I need whatever is in here to get out so I can stop sneezing. Would be a much helpful. It would, it would, it would. Come on, game. You already crashed me once. Don't do anything stupid. This game, in the entire time I have owned it, has only crashed twice. Don't you see the robots in the world? You and I, we never stop with How love is the muse of a thousand lives. Yep, and she's like, nope, leave me alone. See, sometimes not even being a ghost will help you. <laughs> Alright, time for potions class. All right, potions class. Open the door. Ah, uh, that's right. I need to change the time of day. Because <clears throat> obviously I can't take class at night. Seriously, are you gonna make me? There we go. I was like, I know better. Uh, <clears throat> oh, pretty poofs. Oh my gosh, pancake raiders! Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. If y'all have never been here before, my name is Feline Fancy. You are in the cat house. Uh, normally we stream three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This week, because of September Subathon and because all of you amazing people got me to 500 followers, we are playing Hogwarts Legacy all week long, Monday through Friday. Um, you guys came in at the right time because the game crashed like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so this is the second half of, of today's stream. Hackwade, I see you. Baden, Artsy, Yarny. Guys, how are we doing? And I don't think I have a mod. Uh, Dr. Molesky, welcome, welcome on in. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Like, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Um, Pancake, let's, let's get you some shoutouts, my dear. Because you, you deserve them. Ooh, we're doing some Mortal Kombat 1. How are you enjoying it? Is it fun? I haven't played it yet, but it looks amazing. Uh, have you finished this game at all yet? Still on first playthrough? Um, actually, no. <laughs> this is not my first playthrough, which is why we're just kind of enjoying it. Um, we are going for a full 100% completion this time around because I have yet to actually do that in this game. So that is the, uh, the purpose. Uh, of this playthrough this week is to just have fun. Ch Can I help you? My cat goes, man. So the fluffy overlord that's on the floor says hello. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're, we are going for full 100% uh, on this particular playthrough. I'm excited. Um, I will attempt to platinum it. Um, I do still need to play through because chat voted and tied for me to either play as a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin. I broke the tie by doing the ever logical eeny meeny miny mo, because yes. Um, so we are playing through as a Ravenclaw. So I do still need to play through as a Slytherin up to a specific point in time to get the achievement for that. But uh, we're working. We're working on it. Uh, my longest playthrough right now is as a Gryffindor, which was my first playthrough. 
uh, at 65 hours so far. Uh, but yes, we, we will be playing all this on stream to uh, get it as complete as humanly possible. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, playing through story mode, loving it. I've seen everybody How who is just... Assignments coming along? They're fine, Professor Sharp. You just need to chill for a minute. I'm talking. Um, <laughs> the story mode looks so good. I've seen a couple of people play it. And just the graphics are insane. Absolutely. Uh, I haven't 100%ed and enjoyed my time as a Ravenclaw. It really is good. The game is fantastic. Um, we just finished up the storyline with um, with Jackdaw. So I've now seen three different perspectives on his story, which is really good. So we're just, yeah, just having fun. We're chilling. We're vibing. Just, yeah, and, and vampire. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys see Dakman chat, Dak was talking about vampire butterflies, because one of the side quests, you have to follow butterflies through the Forbidden Forest to a treasure. After we did that, that is when my game crashed. <laughs> and, uh, so, so the conclusion is that, um, I did nothing to crash the game, but it was vampire butterflies who decided they didn't want me to take their treasure. Uh, are, are, are what crashed my game. And honestly, I'm, I'm here for it. So, we have vampire butterflies. It, 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 it is. It is. Uh, a Ravenclaw might not anybody <laughs> make a choice. I mean, no. But it's a thing? Question mark? I completed your assignments, Professor. Uh, Good. but yes, yeah, so, uh, we're to here to learn to pulso pulse from Professor Sharp, Let's and then we will be heading do. to our first flying class, Concentrate. which I'm excited do about. Let your mind wander. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> Easy, simple. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice... And I think you should. Perhaps. I mean, sure. Not to go <laughs> well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. I mean, ish. Kind of. There are still things I suck at. Uh, also, we're gonna save because now that the game's crashed, I have like the biggest worry that it's gonna crash again. And I don't want that. It's a fun game to platinum. I'm looking forward to it. Because on my, my Gryffindor profile, I was literally like going through the achievements like one at a time. And I think most of all I had left, I'm missing a Merlin trial somewhere. I don't know where. But it says I'm missing one. Um, I was working on... Uh, growing all the plants and I was also working on breeding all of our animals and that was about it everything else uh, was was did done but yeah that was that was just about everything like, everything else I'd done, you know, I had, I think, like, 99% of everything else taken care of. So, it, it is an absolute thing. It, it really is. Do, 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 do. Back to the school grounds, because we need to go take a flying class. But, yeah, we're going to be playing everything on stream... Uh, for this week and then depending on where we're at by time we end on Friday I may carry this over to next week as well um, again just to we're just here to have fun vibe chill uh, I think they'll make a DLC anytime soon I hope so I really really hope so um, 
I mean, honestly, I would love to be able to get not even maybe a DLC, but like a part two to this where we can play out our sixth and seventh year and like get a job. Like you've graduated. What are you going to do? You know, you have to take all your tests, all that stuff. And depending on how well you do is like where you end up. So I would, I would love that. I think that would be phenomenal. Uh, I'm on PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm good with them just working on a sequel. Yeah. Hi, Madam Kagawa. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Um, probably me. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Now, I put this out to the universe. I suck at flying in this game. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our uh, And adding in morality points for doing... Uh, yeah, it really would be. Because I know a lot of people will play through, like, all three. They'll play through Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and be, like, good people. And then they'll come back in a Slytherin and be like, all right, it's time for my dark storyline and, and, like, be, be just the mean, evil person. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players. But I also like know before, like, like yeah, but that's the stereotypical Slytherin. Not Why do I want to do that? You know. Now, let's see how well everyone can I played as a half knife. I was a total bastard Slytherin. It was interesting in the dark arts. And yeah, and then kick your leg my, my playthrough through Gryffindor, like, I learned seat. one of the three curses that are available. Because I'm just like, I don't want to kill anybody. Like, now, I didn't even learn the... Uh, yeah, like, I, I learned oh, I, I learned the first one, but I didn't learn the other two. Uh, oh. There we go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Exactly. Why do you want to side saddle a broom? Like, I thought there might be an achievement if I didn't learn them. Nope. No, I, I, I wish there was. Be like, and if you, you played through as a good person. Way to go. And you played as a bad time. person. You suck, but you're kind of awesome. Good. Now, for your first So uh, again, I suck at flying. The courtyard. Do so the just end. FYI the to everybody. <sighs> I, I want them returned in one I, I like I don't do like really fast like speedy stuff. I am not a Quidditch player well by done. any means. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom. Yes, I'm acclimatized. I I, I flew very slowly. Action. I was a snail. And went we that doesn't no. I was determined to get good at flying so I could tell Melda to shut up. Yeah, Melda was, was a thing. What have you? Hello. Uh, you're not looking to race just to arrive. Unfortunately, there is a thing in here where you kind of have to race, unfortunately. It's part of a sideline. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I mean, technically, I kind of maybe could have. Like, I'm not a first year, but it was still my first year at Hogwarts. I don't see why I couldn't have had the experience. But no, it's that I'd watch somebody die via dragon attack and get to see a Thestral in person. Oh, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> Do, 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 do. Again, it, it's all just so pretty. I have goosebumps doing this for the first time. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, actually, really just running around the castle and seeing oh, well just the different sights. That's like, not even on a broom. Just actually, like, running and, like, standing on, like, the edge of the Great Hall on that little balcony area right. on the outside hey, I and just looking out over the lake and the, 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 the sunset. Well 
I'd imagine you're ready for so just all the pinks and the reds and the oranges, and it was just I'm gorgeous. I'm just like, we met my, my boyfriend, his nickname is Catnip, Cotton. so when I refer to Catnip, I'm, I'm referring to him. For a bit of he was sitting behind fun. me. I'm actually in his, his chair. But he was playing on his PC, and I was like, sweetie, sweetie, look at the sunset! And it was just, it was, it was fantastic. When we get in trouble, strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Uh, music, the music really Besides, does add so much to this game, to like insanely that it does. Follow me. You know, they they've kept it close enough to give you the nostalgic the feel is about to begin. Follow closely now. of uh, right you know what we did as kids. Lovely, is Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Something like that. Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Whee! How is that? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. I mean, fair. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? I mean... There's the famous Possibly. Bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. I mean, and you're not other. wrong. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plenty of land of jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. I mean, I think this is how everybody should experience Hogwarts, is on foot. Please. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Thank you. Oh, working on it. Looks like he's already dismissed Carl. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Damn, we're gonna get in trouble. And where have you two been? He took me on a tour around Hogwarts? Oh, hello, Professor. Question mark. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor, I mean, enough. fair. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, madam. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hey! She likes me. I think. Unknown. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Indeed. Yeah, I don't really it have any regrets. I losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home. I mean, I can still win at the end of the year, so what's well, one or two points, right? Around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. Well, Indeed, we will, because you that should. finally means I well, can I ride a broom and make things so much easier. In He's always looking to test new models. Which I'll means we finally get to meet sky. our arch nemesis with flying. You need anything else? Hi, can we talk? Madam Kugawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw I mean, should serve as a deterrent. Yeah, but still, escapades. I'd like them back, please. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also but, welcome to drop by any time with questions. Yeah. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? Ooh, Hackle, you got a cinderquill. Nice. Illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. 
Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I would, actually. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have this idea is where all the fun stuff starts. Focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. And? Really? But now that he mentions Sprint Witches, I should be able to go back there. So, we're going to run again all the way back to Hogsmeade because after the game crashed, I'm not taking any chances. And maybe that's the issue is because I'm not, like, doing that and I'm taking my time. But I'd rather be running through the countryside than waiting on a whole bunch of uh, loading screens, to be honest. Yes, I know I have new quests available. But the one I want to start with, which is me getting my broom, is going to come first. And again, A, my jacket looks really dirty. Yes, I know I have new quests available, but the one I want, you aren't doing yet. Uh, lunch break over, will you d Yeah, no, Dak, and go for it. I hope lunch was good. We why does freaking, like, Hogsmeade have to be so far of a run? Like, can it just be, like, the next block over? Because it's so far away. Like, I know it's right there, but still. Newt, new, newt, new, newt, new, newt, new. Running in mud. And why? I, I've never seen any of my, like, cloaks or anything ever look this dirty. I mean, is this because I slept, like, on the ground while I was waiting for it to be night? So I could do the Ghost of Our Love side quest? Is this what the problem is? Because I will be very mad if that's what the problem is. I suppose I'd... Beautification potion? Oh, right! I forgot about that. I 100% forgot about that. Cool. Alright. I forgot that that becomes a little side quest line thing. Okay. We can, we can do that. Alright, Sprint Witches! Away! Cause I want my broom! Let me in! Let me in! Oh, nice. Wonderful. Come on, where is it? I know it's right here. There it is. Hello, Mr. Weeks. I get one of. I'll be Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Bless me, I apologize. I think I'm coming in with the cold. Disrupted. I didn't want to talk to him. I wanted to turn around and get my supplier. chest. And I've only just returned. Which is rude. Also, my cat is meowing like crazy in the living room. I presume room. you're in the market for a new broom? Uh, indeed. I, 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 I do need a broom. I need dash, any broom. Arrows, wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Good, good to know. Um. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're not going to go through the whole kit and caboodle, because I... I really? There we go. I was like, I know better. They're all 600. Um... That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. 
I mean, that's what you say, my dude. Yeah, let's 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 buy a a Ravenclaw broom. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Cool. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, legitimate. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Go on. I mean, I knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the know. performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve there the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom oh, courses here we for go. trials. Dun, dun, dun. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. The What's problem is that? upgrades are so expensive. That sounds intriguing. Like, 100%. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance... Because I think the upgrade's like a thousand or twelve hundred. And I can give you a special price. Something like that. The time it's an expensive be a bit upgrade. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Sure. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I, I, would, I would love to do that there, uh, my dude. Just short. Sure. Oh my god, I can find my broom now and get me out of here so I can go find my broom. Get me out of here so I can fly. Please and thank you. I have not entered the area that allows flight yet. I now can have flight a flight. <laughs> Brim. Wee. Finally. This is what makes me happy. And it's so much nicer than running. And it takes no time whatsoever. Whatsoever? Whatsoever. Whatsoever. I can English. We all know words are harf. It's fine. There's Summoner Court. We should be getting our Summoner Court stuff here shortly. We. Alright. Revelia. I know there is a thingy here somewhere. At least there used to be a thingy here somewhere. Oh, if that hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing in the first place. Oh well. I will come back for it, because I know there is a thing up there. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yeah. You want to talk? Imelda Reyes? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> did he now? Yeah, Still he did, actually. Still with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried yeah, to help and? him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Yeah, Cotwin and? showing off in flying class with Clopton. Yeah, now you sound jealous, Seems babe. someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain? Yeah. Jealous of I, you? I, I said it. Everyone knows you that me. class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Listen, Enough babe, you ain't gonna talk my, my magic skills like that. who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Sure. Actually, why not? 
I can beat your record. Now, I'm it does sometimes take me a few moves. chances. This one I can usually beat one off. Unless I completely miss a, a, a hoop. <laughs> now that's more like it. This is rather fun. Do 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 There we go. Inside the hoop, there we go. go. <clears throat> Under two minutes, I will take that. Normally, I'm lucky if I can break two minutes. So that was actually really, really good. And I'm happy with myself for that. I am indeed. Alright. Play a nice game. There we go. So, um... Oh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine. You won. Uh-huh. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely you're I'm just something. saying. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn I my respect. I haven't earned nothing from you, babe. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. We shall but indeed. Get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. I'm sure it you does. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just no, check in at the podium I already beat this course. Is. It's fine. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Listen. It's fine. Alrighty. Broom away. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. I think he will too. Wee. This is where I wish there was like some music. To just be like, you know. Just, 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 just. I mean, more than just wind. I suppose it's a good thing maybe the magical world doesn't have like airpods or something because you imagine like trying to listen to music while you're uh, trying to fly. Oh, there you go, there you go. We need a boom boxer. We need somebody who can fly, just like, the, the, the big boom box, just you know, play all the latest and greatest hits. Um, also, why is my jacket in the front of me? Why are you showing off my booty? Fix my jacket.
<laughs> there's my jacket. Thank you. Better. Oh, Mr. Alby, I have news. Beat Melda. Oh, you're back with something to report. I hope. Yeah, she wasn't happy. She she called me a squib, or she thinks I'm a squib. Mr. Weeks. And I then she was mad that I cheated. Room. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been So shocked. like, I mean, Tell things me, and stuff. A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, <sighs> I just wish his upgrades weren't so expensive. Yeah, even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. I mean, yeah. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. And this Worried is true. Fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. I mean, Those especially when you have the sense of that, that down to an art. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> Course, I mean, they do nap in the but, but from what I Rome hear. has. And where would we be without like, an arms yeah. mask? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't Fair. listen to him. And we do like some good cushioning. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Uh, we'll find Expect out. Expect to hear from me soon. Yes, sir. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? All right. Uh, Mr. Pippin, you're next. I need to make some cushions. Uh, not where I want to be. I want to be further down. Because that's the brood and pack. Where is... Oh, I'm on the other side of town. That'd be why I couldn't find it. It's always a good idea when you know where you're going. And if there's one place that will get you turned around, it is Hogsmeade. I went the wrong way up Zonko's, that's what happened. There we go. Open. Welcome. Thank can you. you. Let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired of sneezing. You need help with the delivery, my dude. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. Okay. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used okay. to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. I mean, Constantly yeah. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Works for me. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no she idea totally how grateful I am. She really. Is. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, dude. I don't think that's going to happen at all. Really? You can go this way? Fine. I'll go this way. Why is it raining again? I'm trying not to sneeze again. 
Why is it like when you have plans like the entire month that that's when your body goes, hey, you want to be sick? No, I'd rather not be. This coat gets so dirty. Why? Let's go. We. Oh, I'm actually gonna come down to the boat house first. So I'm gonna activate the thing down here. Because I can. Just. Burn you so we can get this. Door. Crossed wands was so much fun, wasn't it? It was actually. There we go. Back up on the brim. We let's go. Ooh, down. Down. Chest. Oh, really? Hello, broom. Thank you before you land in the water. Good lord. Like, look at this. Like, how pretty is this? Like... Like, who wanna look at, like, pinks and oranges off of water? Like, honestly, I, w I would, like, if I could live at Hogwarts just to get pretty skies like this, do you realize how fast I would do that? Because I would. Incredibly quickly. We gotta make a delivery and gotta go fast. Do, 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 do. Person down there, fight down there. Come on. I will tell you, I actually ran all the way down here the very first time I played this. Because I'm like, I actually want to run through this game. Yeah, no, that was stupid on my part to say that. You, you don't, you don't do that. You don't do that at all. Spare a canut, a sickle, a galleon. You're standing in your box, my dude. Like you are you are quite literally like Uh wasn't there another nope, it's outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's outside. That's fine. He's not that late, he just don't want to deal with you. You, you just don't need to worry about it. I have your stuff. Just, you, you can have a chill, my dude. Always been keen on Cambridge. Always keen on Cambridge. Yeah, something like that. Ginger root. Chest. <sighs> Pop, it's fine. Come on. There you are. Want to fill in as much as we can. Also, I do not have I know a Merlin trial when I see one. We do see a Merlin trial when we see one.
I know the ball for said thing is right there. How was Legacy? I think you're for the I forgot. Giraffe! Good morning! And good evening. Good afternoon. All the stuff. Have How you, you doing? Let me answer. Um, I've no. That Pippin should have been here by now. You, you, you were not allowed to be sick, giraffe. That's not cool. I think the thing for this is on the other side. Is it on the other side of the bridge? I think it's on the other side of the bridge. I think it's on the other side of the bridge, right? Yes, it is the other side of the bridge. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're from home. So, I mean, yeah, but, like, everybody's getting sick. Like, I'm sick right now. Like, quite a few people are, are coming down with the sickness. There we go. That's that's fine. You can just roll for me. Just don't run over people. Come on. Did you twitch? Come on. Are you really having this much of an issue, my dude? Why are you being such a pain in the booty? Listen, you are so close, my dude. Come on. Come on. Your thing is literally, like, right here. See, it's, it's right here. It's right here. Why would you come? Ah. Do we do we have to do this again? Come on. Come. Play about this way. How about that? Come on. You let me also all the way back there. Really? You worked not a minute ago. Why are you choosing to be a pain now? Oh my, are you serial? Fine, you know what? You you sit there. I'm I'm nope. Hey lady, I'm here you with your stuff. Wong, I have a delivery from Jacob's Dude, like <laughs> sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always I am a teenager, I will have you know that. Out. Did he have your brother for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. She is such a pain in the butt. Why'd you buy him? Do you keep ordering from uh, you doing a big round over the UK again at the moment. It's made across. So I don't, don't tell me that. I'm, not one I'm already coming down with potentially a cold. Don't, don't, no. Draft, I love you. Product. Please, no. Unlike some vendors, uh, I have played I this before. This is actually my third playthrough. But we are going for a platinum this time around. 
So we are going for a full 100%, you think it's so simple? which I'm excited about. I know is um, trying to cheat his we're customers. playing it Monday through Friday Cutting this week. To save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion All the humans, yeah. Drink it. Um, so my... Seems simple enough. I'll my Gryffindor I profile, which was my so. first playthrough, I have 65 hours in right now. Yeah, no, I know. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you I just don't know why I can't accue it over the bridge. Combining your recipes which is quite interesting. Ha! Not a chance. That Nerdu so that kind of bugs me. Just a little bit. The rest of us so. to make our own way. Oh my I'll goodness. I'll give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Yeah, very well. <sighs> very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. Uh. Well, yeah, but I, like, you're supposed to have a different... Did it seriously reset? It did. Because I don't have Wingardium Leviosa, which is what I should actually be using. Because I cast Levioso on it in the first place. Lumos. Come on. We'll go this way. Seriously. Come on. Uh, what house are you? So, uh, I am playing as Ravenclaw. Okay, you know what? Forget that. We'll, we'll come back to that at a later date, because I'm not going to mess with it right now. Hello? Broom. Thank you. Go. But yeah, so I, the only house I have not played as is uh, Slytherin. But we ran a poll yesterday, and chat tied it between Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Which, cool. And then I took the logical role of eeny, meeny, miny, mo, And it came out as Ravenclaw. Because I'm smart like that. Yeah, I mean, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So yeah, we'll we'll just come back to that particular uh, Merlin trial later. Uh, I was Ravenclaw also using <laughs> nice. See, it does work sometimes. Y'all don't think it does, but it does. When one cannot decide, you you do the stuffs. That is what happens. It's a spell. It is a spell. It is a spell of the common folk, and so thus we use it. This is a spell of exactly right. Like, what do I want for dinner? Do I make mac and cheese? Or do I make, like, some mashed potatoes? I mean, the answer is always yes, but, you know. And we're flying along, flying, flying. But yeah, Jeff, you did miss it. Uh, the, the game decided to completely freeze and crash on us. Which was kind of funny. Oh, here's a really easy Merlin trial we can do. We can at least do one. We can at least do one. Because these are relatively easy to do. And I say relatively...
Ta-da. It was, yeah. We, we had it, we had a crash after going after a side quest. And so, as, as you can see, Dakum is saying it is the, uh, the vampire butterflies that are to be blamed. Uh, the Merlin Trials, yes. Or I can at least put in their, their area locations and go back that way. Don't like butterflies, like vampires, so blame the butterflies. <laughs> See? So yes, we're just going to blame... Because we've been live for like... Four ish hours, or just shy of four hours when it crashed. So it was like, okay, cool, great. Not really. But yeah, so. Which is gonna kind of suck because I was gonna put these on. Um, these are gonna go up on YouTube, so it's gonna suck that, you know, I'm gonna have to play the edit game. But it'll it'll be worth it. Here you find Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? No. Well, yes, but no. I delivered the potions. Road tripping is so not the same using a broom. I mean, uh, did you cause no. Any uh, she's she's I difficult. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help, and at least it's done with. Exactly. Ooh, the window. The, the window. The wind just picked up. It was a pleasure. Uh, it shouldn't be to too bad. Just the black screen came, came crashing and go into the next one. Pretty much. To I'm gonna have to, to, to play with it a little bit, Best which I'm okay with. Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Cool. That side quest is done. And then we're gonna save. Because I can. Save. There we go. Up to nine hours now. And by the time we end here in an hour, we'll be at ten hours into the game. And it doesn't feel like we've done, like, anything. Excuse me, anything yet. Um, what's next? Um, acquire and use a Thunderbrew potion against enemies. Uh, we can, we can do that. We can do that. I don't think I own a Thunderbrew. Did I buy a Thunderbrew? Uh, that's a no. Cool. Um, Sorry, Mr. Pippin, I do need Come potions. On. Healing potions of a speciality here. Should you need any? It's always nice to have them. Why is it a thousand? A wise decision. Thank you. Um, are any of these down? Only you. Cool, that'll get me sixty, I suppose. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Um let's check our gear really quick while we're here, because if I can sell, I want to sell. Um, but to another, so selling the sanguine mask is fine. Uh, 42, 34, 34. Obviously, we're taking the 42 because yes. Um, and a 47. It's only a one point up, but yes. Okay, never mind. We can sell some stuff. That works. I'm okay with this. Oh, I didn't change my gloves. Whoop. Uh, I found you changed gear as often as a baby was growing out of their clothes. Uh, pretty much. You constantly change clothes in this, which is great. Because you want to be able to have the ability to have better offense and defense. And then, spoilers for later, um, 
So if you've not played Here this game or haven't forest. played through far enough, uh, if you'd like to mute, you are welcome to. Myself. Um, like now, if you don't mind, then okay. Um, but yes, you get the opportunity that you can like add protections to your clothes, and it does up your offense and defense, which is great, and I like that. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah. Now that I have my Thunder Brew, uh, we need to set that up so we can use it. And then we need to go out into the Great Blue Beyond so I can use my Thunder Brew against an enemy. Just wait until we start learning Alohomora, and then we'll be spending all the time just running around unlocking things, and it's hilarious. Also trying to think of where the closest enemy would be. And I think I know where it's going to be. Actually, probably... This would probably be closer, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm a fairly big Harry Potter fan in general. Ooh, 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 down. Rebellion. Fudge. Because who doesn't want fudge? Um, we're gonna go... We're gonna go down here to the Forbidden Forest. Because I want to be able to ensure neat through branches and stuffs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired of sneezing. It's fine. It's fine, shot. Uh but yes, I, I am I am a fan. I grew up on the movies. Um more so than the books. I didn't pick up a book until book five was out, so when Order of the Phoenix came out, that's when I started actually reading them. Because you couldn't find them in like the schools I went to. So by the time I wanted to read them, it was like a year long waiting list to get them. Which kind of sucked, if I'm being honest. It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little guardian. Come back here. Interrupted charging uh, with Bolzo. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah, how how works? Is safer now. Uh, that. Cool. Let's go. Well, uh, obviously, being in the UK, they were everywhere, and I grew up with my mom reading them to me before bed as I was learning to read. Oh, that's cute, though. But yeah, I was in ninth grade when the books came out. Wait, no, ninth grade? Yeah, it would have been... Yeah, it would have been ninth grade. By the time uh, the, the books got to us. And if you wanted to read it, yeah, you were kind of SOL. I was in there thinking for a minute, because I remember going and seeing movie two in ninth grade. Because I know the books came out earlier, but by the time they got 
really out and in, into the schools. I think it was ninth grade because it was a six months to a year waiting list. And that's when the um, librarian suggested I read Warm Peace. And I finished all but 300 pages of it instead of reading Harry Potter. So, yeah, every single copy of the book was out. And kids weren't, like, picking it up and, like, reading it in two days. They were, like, holding on to it and they kept checking them back out because they weren't done with it or they wanted to read it again. And it was just like, yeah. So I saw the second movie in theaters. And then I think from then on, I like I own all the movies at this point and I own all the books. But I remember buying Order of the Phoenix for myself. And then I was like, I need, like it was the first book that I picked up. And so I was so lost. And I was just like, I need, like, I, I need, I need something. Um, that's not what I want. I want potions classroom. Yeah, no, it was, it was bad. I was like, the story was great, but I was like, okay, I need all the books now. And so like my family got me the first four for Christmas that year. So like I got caught up, but it, it took some time. Ah, uh, what's my favorite? What's my favorite? Honestly, for the books, I really liked um, Half Blood Prince. For some reason. See, Goblet of Fire is really good. Here's my issue with Goblet of Fire. Freaking whoa! Can I help you? Did you, did you see, like he came through the door to attack me. Like my God! Have you finished your assignments? Yes, I did. Except I your dummy just trying to kill me. Well, well. I trust you are I mean, my goodness. After all yeah, my mother's favorite movie to short draft cunning. was um, Goblet of Fire. Yes, sir. Of so course. Every oh, time it was on. Ordinarily, I'd say it didn't matter what channel it was on. Any time that movie came on, she turned I'll it make on. Sure you're well prepared. I got Talent very tired of watching it very quickly. <laughs> It would be a so shame. now I don't that tend that to watch the movie anymore just because I'm like, don't no, don't make me, head. not again. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. But yeah, book six was always good. Okay. I really liked can be the, the two-part sevens because I thought those were really good. It really is. I mean, also, you get more in the books than you Very do in the good. movies, quite obviously, you it know. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I would encourage you once again to practice. Yeah, yeah, I know. You want me to practice. For your sake and that of everyone else. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. I mean, it is a concept, I know. Also, this is let's talk. Professor Sharp. Do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I just wanted to ask questions. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm. Observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Sounds dangerous. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though I've seen some remarkably all probably from Garrett Weasley brood in my class. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, yeah. success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. 
My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I okay. had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is at that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. Also, I apologize. I had more sneezes. And then I needed to sniff some vapor rub. Which sounds wrong in Twitch. If anybody's watching, I'm literally, it's not a drug. I literally mean Vicks vapor rub. It's a little sniff thing that my boyfriend gave me. Quite literally. It's menthol. So don't come after me. Okay. Just doing Dyer's work. Yeah, Dyer is uh, currently doing the thing. This is true. This is fact. Okay, dummy, I swear to God, if you come at me again, we're gonna have words. Do you understand me? You stay in there. Because, my goodness. Um... I do need to go meet with Sebastian. Let's go meet with Sebastian. Let's go learn how to set stuff on fire. Flabbergasted leech stirred clockwise. I don't know how you flabbergast a leech, but sure. Oh, it's morning. I was like, why is it light all of a sudden? Because it's morning, which means everybody's going to start coming out to play. Hi, Ominous. Bye, Ominous. You don't see me, Ominous. Over here. Um, um, um. Dude, do you, do you know how pixelated you just were? Like, you were giving me Emilia, uh, what is his name? Emilia something from, from Metal Gear Solid 1? Like, he was, like, no distinction, like, flat face, polygoned, oh my god. That was cool. Uh, let their students go all out on it, right? They just want their students to get drunk on butter beers. So they come back and then, like, they can't take their classes. That's fine. It's all right. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. It has been a while, my dude. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. Well, uh, that depends I'm on sure what you the think. Best place I mean, to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Are you sure about that? This way. Uh, listen. There's a secret passage just here. It's well My apologies. Uh, Catnip's mother was kind enough to go and get me a couple of things to help with all of this. So, like, some tea, orange juice, things like that. So. Come on. There we go. I love that Sebastian did not follow me. But yeah, he's down here before place? I did. My before friend, I was. Ominous things, Gaunt. stuff. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved Okay, you, you, you keep talking. Again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Omen I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. 
but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. I, I won't say a word. <clears throat> never been <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for, for chests and everything else. Like, that's all of it. We're just those. Okay, cool. Now we can talk. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. Yes. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Indeed. Is that how he found this place? Uh, no, no you don't have to, but it's it. nice to use it because you can pick up items secrets. out of them. Most I've of it's clothing. Else uh, of you it. can also pick up I've decorations never seen anyone else for look. later. Again, mention this to um, no one. Especially ominous. So that's that thing. He has thing. no love lost for his family or their secrets. So it just kind of depends. Understood. And all the but clothes that you can't use that aren't going to do anything family. for you, his father's you can in fact turn around and sell for money Salazar to buy Slytherin, other items or clothes or anything else with. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. So it's not Ominous an achievement, but them. it's nice to pick to stuff them. up. Anyway, because it also clears things off of the map in your area. To sneak off to, away from prying eyes. So that way, when you look at it, it doesn't still show you all these little. Spells. Really? You know, especially in the open world, because like like it will show everything. Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It's really not, but it's a good spell. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. It, it kind Although of is. Did enjoy learning um, this one. A spell like it probably won't be until tomorrow. In untrained hands. Because we need to be learn Alohomora. Not before bound. we really go to out into fair, the open world to I'm get stuff because so much stuff is locked forms of magic. so once we learn a little Hamora I can teach it and we go out here. into the open world and you can kind of see everything that's it there it's pretty crazy the for it. mimic my wand movement the incantation is confringo 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 is a giant Z. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the under. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. I mean, it's a That's it. fire spell. I would I think assume that it's going to well be a bit done. hot. Like, just, just saying. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Yeah... This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I don't think that's kind of going to work, but sure. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. I mean... By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Yeah. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Just Nothing a little. gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. Yeah. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. Yeah, you trust but. Me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting I mean, to say, but it wasn't yeah, that. it sounds a little crazy, even in the magical world. What does that even you mean? know. 
Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Yep. Figure may think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? It I, does. I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, yeah, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. I Spend mean, as yeah. as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When He's I head here. to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Come on, let me out. Thank you. It's always an issue about entering and leaving the Undercroft. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. Yeah, You're that's, that's me. Hi. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um... Sebastian, me? Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Listen, dude. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. I mean, He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Because if you tell him, oh, I just kind of stumbled upon it, I'm like, mm, no, BS. It's not how it works. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. What's on the chest down here? It is. I want that because I want. He is a prick. You are correct on that, Dapham. He is absolutely. I mean, he's not as big of a prick as you think. Thank you. I want the money. Money, 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 money. Also, quest time. Let's go to the room of requirement. New, new, new. Also, gear. 41, 38, give me the 41. Uh, that's locked. Cool. We like that. We're only at 20% of the challenges? Rude. Claim that. Don't need that. We're still working on that. And we're working on that. Cool beans. So many unlocked challenges. You're quite a high level for someone still finishing room. I haven't even gotten into the room of requirement yet. Like, we're just now heading to go there. So... I mean, I've, I've learned through my other playthroughs that, like, do everything you can. Because there is just so much to do. That it's kind of crazy. I mean, we already have, you know, 70 of 150 of the Revealio pages, so we're almost halfway there, which is great. Especially still this early in the game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all about trying to do what I can, when I can. But it is, it is definitely a thing. Okay, 
can't do that yet. What else do we have in here? Spell set, spell set, don't care about that. Dodge, Protego, don't care. Um, that's okay. I'm not worried about that. What else we have in here? Uh, Depulso. Nope, we're definitely taking these. I think that's what we'll do. There we go. I think that's where we start for now. Alright, up to uh, level 7 we go. But yeah, I mean, we haven't even explored, like, all of Hogwarts or anything else yet. It's kind of crazy. Somebody's in their classroom and pacing around. It might actually be Ronan. I think they just don't look inside my notebooks. Do you know how like crazy that sounds there, kiddo? Like, don't look through my books. What are you hiding that I don't need to look through your notebooks? Like, I have a feeling it's not just notes. Oh, hang on. I forgot that that's a thing. But, uh, right? Uh, let's save really quick before we do this quest, just because I want to make sure we're good. 300 years ago, right? You know. Four score and eight years ago, while I was sitting in, you know, ancient runes, I came up with this great idea to take over the world. I'm going to do it by first enchanting two little mice that I found munching on plants and herbology. I shall call them Pinky and Brain, because one seems very smart. And one has the brain the size of my Pinky. Professor Weasley? What? <laughs> Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. What? <laughs> the same thing we do every day, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Nope, I didn't. Well done. Thank you. Shall we? After Love that show, but I haven't seen it in 20 years. It's always good to... I just noticed my cloak has the Ravenclaw symbols on it. Cool beans. Yeah, no, the, the, the shows are amazing to go back and watch. Because you're like, how did they get away saying all this stuff when we were kids? And how did it completely go right over our heads? And then you rewatch it as an adult and you go, oh my god. Like, we were like eight or nine years old. The hell? What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This 
presents the perfect opportunity Dear to kids and adults oh 100 percent to vanishing spell you can cast ever and i don't know if it's necessarily they didn't care back then as much as it is i think that they understood that you don't talk down to kids then you can so the we understood everything that our brains understood back then, I guess, which sounds weird to say, but yes. Evanesco, make things go poof. Splendid. Now, go on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Trust me, I tell you, I already have Let's plenty of Moonstone. Uh, word it wrong as in well, TV companies. I mean, you're no, way. you're completely right on that. You know, there were things, but it wasn't Is as goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an yeah. opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yeah, as, as long yes, as your professor. numbers were really good, and, like, I just don't think... I, I don't know if it was, like, that people didn't care. We are going to go backwards, because I want to make sure there's nothing back here that, like, I'm missing that would be really cool to have. Besides spinning another thing. No. Nothing I can mess with. Alright. Just making sure. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Listen, I didn't do it. That's a very big bore. There's also a lot of chairs in here. And a lot of cauldrons. Weights, a lot of boxes, cabinets. It's all the fun stuff. Um, right, we're well, Accio. Up. And up. And search. Thank you. Whee! That was fun. Let's have a cup of tea. We need a break. We're just going to sit here and drink that. Really good stuff, thank you. These are just creepy. Just just super creepy. That's all. There's a really nice little couch there. Can I can I have I that? This isn't as precarious as it looks. Uh, and they make you go and buy all your stuff, just send all the students right? Well, that was, uh, that was something. There we go. No, no, no. I love that things are just like randomly lit up and then they move out of my way when I need to go through it. It's <sighs> great. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Uh, very carefully. Oh dear god, hide the bagpipes. Just hide them. What was that? A 
Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> so I never figure out who's actually talking to me. I think it's this guy in the painting. But, like, I'm not entirely certain of that. Come. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Because you didn't go back far enough. Keep it going. Keep it going. Can I, like, stand up now? Thank you. It's a little bit nicer once you can actually, like, stand up. Okay. So that, that's over there. Move that. And then... Rebellion. Not that. That one. Yeah. That's what I want. It's that one. No. No. That's what I want. Let me open you. Let me open you. That's what I want. There we go. Of course, there's nothing I can wear because, like, why would that be a thing? I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yeah, he'll find us, don't you worry. Because he's right up ahead. Throwing things at us. Hi, you. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Which you can imagine probably how much that was. Is this the student? Um, Indeed I, it is. Yeah, hi. Deke, it's um, honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. I mean, Would it's a little cluttered. Of course, Professor Weasley. You know, just the saying. This room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable. So I would, I, I, I would like a, a double bacon cheeseburger with extra it bacon, really good melty cheese, potions, um, some very crispy onion rings, um, a large you drink, and a large um, cooking cream milkshake. Room of hidden things. I, I do, do you, do you have that in your room? Because that'd be awesome. Crying eyes. Just Brilliant. Saying. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. 
Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Like I said, just close big old cheeseburger, or bacon cheeseburger, some drink, some ice cream. Um, um, maybe a really big, like, nice, like, queen-size bed, really comfy, soft, you know, something you just kind of sink into. I think that sounds like a really great idea. What do you guys think? I, I think it sounds great. Right? I would. I would. Wake up every day. Yeah. Yeah, no. A really good dinner, super soft, comfy bed. Ooh, a big, hot, like, jetted hot tub. That, too. That would be really good. And then, yes, a, a lullaby to go to sleep, too. And, and in that order. I so it's so a really good dinner, a hot, jetted space. hot tub, soft ah, bed, lullaby. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of I think that's what we need. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. And for once, I actually don't have a whole bunch of I, I, unidentified clothing. Normally, I usually have a whole bunch of it. I don't this time around. Oh, I had one, apparently. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Cool. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. Mm, I hope yeah, no, and warm blankets. No, I'll give you a brief Fresh sheets and, like, really nice, warm, happy, like, weighted comforter conjuring. that you can just, like, yes. curl up and go. The magic of just, I'd be narcoleptic, like, five objects. seconds with that. Like, let's be real. I'll teach you. I would, 100%. Alright. There we go. I also would generally have such a... <laughs> right? Very good. When oh my goodness. When complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients. But I mean, you know, you, you make sure you, your 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 house has your a really good bed and everything they need to. Like it's some for you know, potion station and potting table from totally it, 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 it's that even Oxford. give and take. But yes. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained, and then and then and then and then a really big garden and in the back of the house. They can also be collected by herbs, vegetables in the room, such yes. as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should I would have be all on that in a heartbeat. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead. As a gardener as well. Like I, I'd be willing to teach. Like you, you know, it's find fine. Both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used. To study magical plots. Because like, it'd, it'd be nice though, right? Alright, we need to conjure some stuff. Um. No, 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 no. Only three minutes of lunch at most. I mean, why not? Alright, we need to conjure stuff. Conjure. We need to. Potion station. I've always liked this one. Whoops. All the way. Okay, and then we're gonna come we'll come over here. Come over here. And then we need a potting station. Which I did buy three ones, which I think would clean far better. Uh, I'm off. Have a great stream. Dakum, I love your face. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Um, yeah, I'll well, put you there. How about that? You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. 
Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I have, actually. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Of course, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. You're welcome. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Always. Because why wouldn't I? Because now Professor Weasley becomes a side quest. Of course, it's going to take a minute because it has to update with everything I've just been given. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Indeed. It actually has been. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, I've learned defensive the spells. I've learned a lot of other you stuff. Can acquire and, it by yeah. vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Which I have. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I already have tons. Thank you. I have the Which is always really nice. Quested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. Indeed. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Sure. Uh, we need to do five floor decorations and five wall decorations. We can do that. I did. I did, I did. Um, <laughs> thank you. It's actually been really fun, and that's the reason we're actually playing Hogwarts Legacy, is because we did hit uh, the 500. So it's been really fun. Um, how about a painting? I think painting would be. Oh, we have a lot of paintings. Holy crap. Okay. Um, what do we want? Niffler and Witch, Gazing Wizard, Dapper Wizard, a Bickering Couple? No. Put you there. Um, so that's three. Let's come over here to where I put that. Yeah, I need to actually move the one flower. And it probably said a little bit better. Um, what do I have for wall hangings? Yeah, we'll put the candle and skulls over here. How about that? Actually, let's put that on this wall. We'll put that up a little Not that high. Can you? For a little bit. There we go. Put that there. And then let's throw in some shrunken head totem things because why not and do that and then we need floor decorations so we do like some rugs I'm so tired of sneezing today. You want a good gothic rug? Put that there. Um. Yep. 
We, we have some statues we can make. Um, ah, let's, oh, you're a very big statue. Um, I wasn't expecting you to be that big. Never mind, we won't use you, because you're going to be just a little too big. How about a Nickler statue? She'd be cuter. And the freaking goes there. I don't need a second Niffler. Um. Let's grab a table. How about that? We like a good table. Um. Let's do a coffee table. We'll put it right here in the middle. How about that? Because who doesn't like to have a good table, right? not quite in the middle, but that's fine. Um, let's grab a botanical rug. And then put that right here in front of our botanical stuff. Um, what else did we get? Some nice bookcases. For sinister and forbidden tomes. Like, why the not? Come on. Back a little further. Nope. In the middle, please. Good work. Shall we move on? I mean, sure. And a single chair. We we will get there, yes. Because we can do all the decorations. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration, alteration, alteration. Customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Which is Let's get awesome. started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. I feel like you're just making like a cursive L backwards. And just with a sharp corner on it. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. Style, to color, and to adjust the size. Alright, um. See so we can make it really big, make it really small. And I can also fix the center of this too, which would be really nice. Maybe. Dick. Dick, get out of my way. There we go. Big and pointless, exactly. Um, change the style. Okay, apparently I can't do that. That's fine. Um, oh my god, these sneezes are gonna drive me to the um, we can change our light. Um, sure, give me that one. And then change the color. Um, give me that chair. Uh, 
Um, fine. I don't want to change the color, but sure. For purposes of... Really? Nope. I want it. No. Mm. Switch back to that. Confirm. Why aren't you letting me change the color of the item? I'm now in a very confused state. Why won't you let me change the red color? Um, this is not this hard to do. Why are you being paid in the booty? No, not you. Go away. One moment, chat. Does somebody want to, like, cut my nose off so that way I can, like, drain whatever it is that's in my sinuses? So I can stop sneezing. Ah, there we go. Change color. Um, yep, yeah, let's change it to red. I literally just changed the color of something. Nicely done. Thank now you. You're finally. Ready for something a little more advanced. You can use your own spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Okay, now you let me alter stuff. Cool. Okay, botanical, eclectic, or gothic. I like gothic. Professor Weasley? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I will. Momentarily. I'm going to change much of this. Because I can. Uh, if you think about how it retains heat in the winter, right? Let's just shake. Ooh. See, like some of it works. Hi, Deke. Let's talk to you. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, 
What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ooh, so cool moonlit, a room that is dark and mysterious, or natural and earthy. Let's do... I'm going to do something different. I've always done natural and earthy. So let's do a cool moonlit like ambiance. Feel as if it's That's what we'll do. By the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Hmm. Quite a difference. Yes, it is. Thank you. Of course, you. you needn't keep this style if you don't like I, it. I can change it any time I want. I know. To change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. Yes, it is. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. And here we go. It's going to give me more room. Which is awesome. I love it. It's so nice of it to do this, isn't it? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your... Too much room if you ask me. Listen, by the time we decorate it and everything else, it won't like feel that bad. If you like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank yes, you, Professor. Yes, I know. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Yes, ma'am. I will. Sweet. And now she's going to give me some more stuff so I can decorate my room. We level up again, which is awesome, because we definitely need it. Do, 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 do. Let's check our gear. Um, nope, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. Shed cloaks and robes. That is also a no. Cool. Looks for me. Mix through our inventory really quick. Clear that out. We have 86 moonstone. Nice. I like that. Uh, clear out our quest. Or not quest. Our collection. That's what I should say. Like... Professor Weasley gives you so much stuff, but there's still so much stuff out there. Oh my goodness, it's kind of crazy. So there will literally probably be streams where we're just looking for, you know, Revealio pages, field guide stuff. Where we're just going around collecting chests, doing other things as we go along. So prepare yourself for some kind of fairly boring streams, probably <laughs> later this week. But I'm really excited. We're making fairly good. Query news of Venomous Tentacula. Query news of. No, I don't want to do it using a magic on an enemy. Why? Rude stuff. I don't want to do that. Why do I want to do that, chat? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Alright, let's go ahead and save. And this will probably be where we call it for the day. We are now 10 hours into the game. We're getting two places fairly quickly, which I'm really happy about. People can talk silliness about how pages are avoiding you. I mean, legit. There are some pages, even in my first playthrough, like, you're right on top where it says the page is going to be. And then, like, you can't find it. Even with Revealio, you can hear it dinging, but nothing pops up, and you're just like, where the f is this page? It's kind of ridiculous. It, it is. I've been there, yeah. That's that thing about this game is, it, it does do that. Um, Y'all know how this works. Why do I have thingies? Oh, okay, cool. Night night, lovely giraffe. Have a good night. Let us... Maybe, if I can pull up Twitch... Oh my god. 
If I can pull up Twitch. Let's go see who's out there to raid. Um... Who do we want to go say hi to? Because I do not know. I'm going to raid somebody I haven't raided recently. I know raiding you while you're playing Genshin won't work. Who's live? I've raided you recently. I've raided you recently. I've raided you recently. Good lord. Alright, you know what? I'm probably going to do something fairly stupid here. Oh, really? I was going to raid somebody, but they are on a BRB screen. Rude. That's not cool. Um, alright. That's, that's fine. I was gifted a sub this more. Oh, and somebody, mm, really? The second person I was just going to go raid just went to a BRB screen. Why? Like, why is that a thing? Just, 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 I'm, 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 I'm fine. Fine. We will do this a different way then. Rude. Are you in a BRB screen? No, you just started. Okay. Cool. Finally. Somebody who's not in a BRB screen. Oh, good lord. I love it. It's great. Guys, I'm going to go send you over to Jay Snacky. Snackies is a UK streamer who I adore. Um, sounds like they're doing a first playthrough of something. I don't know what, because I can't tell. So... Go say hi to Snackies for me. Show him the love and the hype with his community. Guys, we're back tomorrow for more Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we'll probably be only on a four and a half to five hour stream tomorrow. Because, as most of you guys know, my boyfriend and I do go out uh, on Wednesdays. So, um, things and stuff. So, um, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. We will meet up with Professor Fig. We'll decorate more of the room of requirement and we'll just do some exploring and hanging out guys i love your face thank you for being here today pancake thank you for the raid for the follows guys thank you i appreciate you i love your faces and until i see you guys tomorrow have an amazing day and we'll talk to you tomorrow you guys know what to do go say hi to snackies and until tomorrow stay cool stay true just be you and we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow for more hogwarts legacy in the cat house. I love your faces. Bye, guys.